let's go. Hi everybody, my name is Jamie, and today I'm going to be doing a very quick and simple tutorial on how to do a very, very easy and quick outfit swap for your avatars for VRChat. So I will say that this video is primarily for my friend group called Ari Gang. If you don't know what Ari is, that's what this model is right here. This is the Ari. If you would like to get the Ari yourself, I'll throw a picture on screen and the link down below in the description of where to buy the Ari. But we have this little friend group in VRChat called Ari Gang, and we basically all have our own custom Aries. And everyone's doing a really good job customizing their Aries. I'm really proud of everybody. However, in terms of creativity, as far as it goes, is texture edits and maybe adding like wings or small accessories however we don't have that many outfit swaps so today i'm going to show you how to do a very easy outfit swap and it takes no time at all i mean i say that but it always takes a little time in blender you know how it is however i will throw some disclaimers before we get started first there is probably a way to do this in unity and not have to do it in blender but i'm not that big into unity so i don't know if there is a method to do it so instead i'm going to be showing you how to do it in blender because that is what i do and another disclaimer is that you are technically going to be exporting this as a new FBX, which means you are going to have to reset up the avatar in Unity. And that can be a bit of a hassle. And that could be for another tutorial that I can do some other time showing you how to reset up your avatar. Another disclaimer is that even though this method for outfit swaps in Blender works really well, it does sometimes have some weird weight painting. Those of you that don't know what weight painting means, weight painting is basically how much the bottle moves with the armature when the bones move. So sometimes there can be weird stretching depending on what type of outfit you're putting, but eh, it's whatever, you can fix it. It's not too difficult. That could be another video for another day. All right, so let's stop talking and let's get straight into the tutorial. So today we're gonna be using the Ari. And as you can see, Ari already has a couple outfits. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete some of the outfits that he has. I'm not going to do a full outfit swap. I'm only going to do a few pieces that you can see. Oops, I deleted the wrong thing there. All right, so Ari is naked now. We can also get rid of that armature real quick. All right, so our Ari is now naked and ready to put on an outfit. And today I'm just going to do an outfit that I've already done a swap with. It's an outfit from another model called Mikoto. All right, as you can see here, this is the imported file. Uh, it did come originally with a whole bunch of parts of the outfit, but today we're just going to do the sweater because it's going to be a quick and easy tutorial. So I'm just going to uh, position it as my first step onto the avatar to make it look nice. So here's a few hotkeys you could use. If you hit the G button, you can move around the object, but if you hit G and then Z, X, or Y, uh, you can do the different axes. So you can do left and right, up and down, and it'll only move in those or back and forth. So I, I tend to use these sometimes to position it. And then also the numpad keys on your keyboard, if you hit those, there's different camera angles that it can snap to. The one key does from the front, three does from the side, and if you want to flip to the opposite side, you can hit the nine key and it'll flip there as well. So we're going to swap to the side here with the three key, and we're going to move this sucker backwards with G and Y. You can rotate it if you want just have fun with this play around with it try to get it to fit and this is like the first and really the most important step of fitting the avatar is you want it to fit the avatar really well as you can see the sleeves don't quite match up perfectly with the arms and this is how you can typically do this, this is how I do it you can hit tab or go up here and hit edit mode and you can edit the vertices what I like to do is deselect everything. You can do double tap A until it goes away. Hit Z, and then you go to wireframe. That way you can see through the model. And then what I do is I hit C, to pull up this selection tool, and left click and drag over. And I like to select uh, about this much of the arm right here. And then you can go all the way up here and change this drop down to 3D cursor. And then you click your little 3D cursor. For me, it's left click. You left click right there. And then you can, uh, and now when you rotate, it's going to rotate based on where that cursor is. So now if I hit R, and I can like drag it up just like that to fit the arm right there. And we're going to do the same with the other side. We're going to do about right around here. We're going to rotate this sucker up and fit the arm. 
we hit Z and go back to solid so you can see and you can leave exit mode or edit mode sorry and so now you can see this avatar is fitting for the most part obviously there's some clipping going on and this is a pretty easy fix now we could probably also do G and Y just move it like this get that to fit a little better that's a lot better but there is a lot of clipping now you could just scale it with S and scale it up if you like we can turn off the, the cursor there you could you could scale it however you like and do it that way but this is how I usually do it this is the second part of the modeling this is what I call sculpt mode so if you go up here into object mode while while this is selected by the way make sure that your outfit is selected with right click go up to object mode and go to sculpt mode now I usually use the default draw tool but there's all kinds of tools that you could play with but usually the default tool works best for me you can hit the N key on your keyboard to pull up these over here and go to the tool and this will give you options for it and there's an auto smooth function which you might want to use I haven't tried it that much but uh, we're gonna we're gonna put it just a little bit to see how this works now with the draw tool in sculpt mode basically what this is gonna do when I highlight and start sculpting the model it's basically gonna expand it it's gonna draw it out a little bit and uh, it can look weird sometimes depending on how much you do it but um, you, you're basically just gonna do a very simple draw over these parts that are showing until they're not showing anymore but also I would go over here into your tools that I mentioned before I would go into symmetry and turn off mirror mode that it has right there on that X I would turn that off because sometimes it can have really weird effects but you see how this little bit of skin is clipping through it's as simple as clicking and holding and just running your mouse over it as simple as that until the pieces are gone now you could click and let go and just click a bunch of times that'll also work but I usually just click the once and hold it and I just like scrub back and forth you'll see me do it here a couple times but you just you just do this until it looks good and let's say for whatever reason that you did it too much let's just drag it here a bunch and let's say that um, you can see that if I spam click it it it's really bulging out now let's say that you've done that too much over here in the settings you could also go to subtract and it'll basically do the opposite it'll flatten it out it'll flatten it back to what it was but if we go back to add and we go over here back to the arms and everything we just sculpt and look how easy it is to get that to fit just these little bits clipping here now it depends on the outfit and some of the accessories on it sometimes it really can be really difficult and janky to get this to work but in most cases yeah you can see right there it's it's being a little weird and I, I do think the angle at which you do the sculpt at from sometimes does matter because it can be really awkward I don't know why it's doing that I haven't had it do that before but you, you get the idea you, you can go in and modify it in edit mode and everything if you need to just have a lot of fun sculpting it because this part right here the sculpting is really the hardest part and it's not even that difficult but it is the hardest part of this whole process is just getting the outfit to fit and look like it is naturally on the body but you can see this is fitting really well and I'm not really having to do much I just had to go into sculpt mode again up here at the top and use just the default thing it starts with I didn't even have to go and tweak any settings I just default started doing it and you can see the outfit fits pretty damn perfectly I didn't even really have to do much it's pretty easy and now here is the part where you actually get the model to move with your base because right now if I were to hit alt H and I bring back the armature because I hit it earlier by hitting the H key if I bring back out the armature and then I go into pose mode if I go over here real quick and change the viewport to be in front so I can see the bones if I move the chest and everything it's not white painted it's not gonna follow the armature but I will tell you right now my friend this is the scariest part and this is what always makes people scared to do outfit swaps people are afraid of doing the weight painting however it is stupidly easy I promise you you will be mind blown how easy this is there are a couple steps so it might sound confusing but trust me it's not that difficult you can go back and rewatch it's just gonna be a bunch of words here's the easiest fucking method to do this outfit swap okay you click 
on the mesh that you're adding, you click on the outfit, and then while holding the shift key, right click on the armature. And now you hit the control button and P to bring up the parent menu. And under the armature deform, do with empty groups. And now the mesh is parented to the armature. However, it's not white painted yet. There's still one more step, but trust me, it takes two seconds. All right. If you want, you can hide the armature again so you can actually see what you're doing, but it doesn't matter. But if you click on the body first, not the outfit, click on your body. Oh, and uh, real quick, this is another disclaimer. I would suggest hiding the hair. Any kind of accessories or anything that you have hanging off, like right here, how these earrings are touching the side of the hoodie. For this sake, uh, I'm just going to select all of the earring and delete it. So anything on the body, like those earrings or long hair that goes down and gets close to the outfit, you want to remove those. Not, not delete necessarily, just hide them. You want to hide them when you're doing this next step because it will kind of mess up the weight painting. So now we can do the weight painting. This is stupidly easy. Like I was trying to say before, you start with the body that you're attaching it to, your base. You click on this first, and then you shift click the outfit that you're trying to add. And then you go up here to the top where it says object mode. You go to weight paint. And then there's this little menu over here to the right, these little icons. You hit weights and you go transfer weights. And then this little menu should pop up down here at the bottom. Open this up and right where it says source layer selection, change it from active layer to by name. And now you're pretty much done. It's really that easy. The outfit is now weight painted onto the body and will move pretty much perfectly. I can show you this if I hit Alt H again and pull up the armature. And now if I were to go into pose mode and I were to move the arm, would you look at that? It moves just that easy. It really is that simple. And everything moves all the ways that it needs to. Look at that. Yep, yep. Now, as I was saying before in my disclaimer, this is not a perfect method. Some of the weight painting will be weird, but considering you did all of this in the matter of seconds, within minutes even, um, pretty fucking awesome. You know, the weight painting, a little weird, but honestly, no one's going to really notice that, that problem right there with the shoulders. That's really not that big of a deal. I mean, your neck is really not going to be bent, bending that far. If anything, if I select the head bone, you don't even notice it at all. That's just because I was moving the neck, and the neck itself doesn't move that much. But, you know... Look at this. This is pretty awesome. Now, if you do notice right here, if you move a little too much, sometimes there is clipping with that. Now, I haven't played with this enough to really know a proper way of fixing this. But um, if you want, what you could do, and I, I don't suggest this, but you could, if you wanted, you could go in and just delete the body parts that are underneath the clothes that are not showing. You can totally do that. Not only does it make your avatar a little more optimized by having less of mesh data, but you won't have to worry about clipping. However, if you want to keep like outfit toggles on your avatar in the game so that you can take off your hoodie and stuff, I suggest you don't delete the stuff underneath. That way you still have a naked body if you wanted to take the outfit off. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, there can be weird clipping, there can be weird weight painting, kind of like right here. But you can go in in weight paint mode, and you can play with it, make it a little better if you want. Um, if you'd like an example, I can show you real quick, just see if maybe this will work. You can click on the, uh, the armature here, uh, or the, uh, the outfit, and then shift click the armature. Or, sorry, the other way around. You click the armature, and then shift click the mesh, and then you can go to weight paint mode. And if you're if you don't know how weight paint mode works, if uh if the color is blue, that means it doesn't have any weight at all, which means the mesh will not move with the bones. But as you can see, these parts are a little more colored. There's some red here. Red, full on red means it will fully move. If you can see in the toolbar over here, you can change the weight of how much it can move. I'm just going to keep it at 1 for now. 
But this little bit right here that looks a little odd with the arm lifted up, it's really as simple as just clicking and dragging over it so that it moves. And so yeah, it's it's really that simple to fix some of the white paint. Um, sometimes the white painting can be a lot more problematic and it really depends on the armature and what all you're doing. But if you have little bits of weird clipping like that, you can do it just as simple as that. Maybe even the clipping that's right here could be even fixed with it. Yeah, look at that. It, it could be at least improved a little bit of the way painting. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more sculpting, whatever. You know, it, it's not going to be perfect. 3D modeling is not easy. But, you know, it, it really is that easy to do an outfit swap. So, uh, yeah, go ahead do a little bit of outfit swapping, play around with it. And if you need any help, my Discord will be down in the description and in the comments. You can add me on Discord and, uh, you know, shoot me a message. If you need help, I can, I'll gladly help you. All right, hopefully that video was uh, helpful.